Welcome back to Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. I'm Livia Karen and we are here with Giles Brandreth talking about looking for happiness. How are you doing today, Giles? I'm doing well and I'm very excited to making my debut on Waffle TV because 30 years ago I used to appear on television wearing colourful knitwear on TVAM, the country's first breakfast commercial television station and on Countdown and game shows in the 70s and 80s. And as a result of this, I was asked to be the face of bird's eye waffles. So I am the original waffle TV man. And yeah, I'm, I'm proud about this, happy about this. The fee helped my children get the education that they deserved. So yeah, great. I love waffles and I love waffle TV. And I'm looking for happiness. That's what my show is about. It's a pleasant one every day at 4.20 in the afternoon. And it came about because everyone wants to be happy. And when I, I used to be an MP, I was an MP until the people spoke. In my case, they spoke in no uncertain terms, you know. I mean, I, obviously, I knew I had contempt for my constituents. Slight surprise to find the feeling was entirely mutual. Uh, I lost my seat and I thought, what am I going to do? And uh, at the same time, I lost my best friend who died of cancer, quite young. And I thought, oh, God, I, I, should, I should be happy and why am I not happy? And I thought I must discover what happiness is. So I ended up actually meeting a brilliant psychiatrist in Dublin called Anthony Clare. Some people remember him from the radio program in the psychiatrist chair. And we began an exploration of happiness together. So what I've done is write a, a book that is more serious than Larky called The Seven Secrets of Happiness and created this show called Looking for Happiness where basically I go out in search of what makes people happy and why and how. And have you seen the show yet? You must come. No, I'm coming. Some of your it. team I know have. Yeah. And the nice thing about it is that people laugh a lot. I mean, in a sense, it's a stand-up show. You know, I'm there for an hour trying to be amusing. But also, it does take people on a journey. It begins in Las Vegas with Frank Sinatra. And it ends up in the psychiatrist's chair with Anthony Clare. And ultimately, if the show goes well, um, we find ourselves like a transformation scene in pantomime in a golden glade where growing out of the ground are seven sunflowers attached to each of which is one of the secrets of happiness and I reveal these to the people because the reason this is important this show is and this is fact all the research in the UK in Scotland around Europe and in America that's the research that there is shows that people who are happy will live seven and a half to ten years longer than people are unhappy. So this isn't just a show looking for happiness that enhances your life, this is a show that extends your life. Why did you decide to approach this, this topic, this burning question, through the medium of stand-up? Well, you're right, and in Scotland actually is the place where it all began because there was a guy called Samuel Smiles, great name, who in the 19th century wrote the first self-help book called Self-Help. And, uh, you know, you go to the mind and spirit section of any bookshop and you're right, they're groaning how to be happy. But what I wanted to find were actually the secrets that would work for everybody. And I learned intriguing things from uh, Anthony Clare. You know, it's not as predictable as you might think. You might think that beautiful people are going to be happier than not beautiful people. It turns out not to be the case. People find extremes quite difficult to cope with. So very beautiful people are not going to be as happy as more homely looking people. People like you to be pleasant looking so that you're easy to approach. But actually, you know, Marilyn Monroe was not very happy. Hugely wealthy people are not necessarily happy. You know, is Charles Saatchi happy, I ask you. Uh, interestingly, healthy people uh, are not necessarily happier than unhealthy people. There's lots of evidence that people who are chronically disabled or people who have chronic illnesses can be happier than people who are perfectly healthy, well-fed, stuffing their faces full of chocolates, you know, wine, what else, uh, may not be as happy. So what are those fundamentals? What are the seven secrets? And so the rules actually apply to anybody, you know, long, tall, short, uh, gay, straight, male, female, able-bodied, disabled, whoever you are, these rules apply. And they're actually very simple. And so basically what the show is about is it takes us on a quirky way through how, how I went, uh, how meeting Frank Sinatra started it all. Um, it's quite an amusing but slightly rude story about Frank Sinatra, which I don't think I can share um, with waffle viewers in case they're of a sensitive disposition. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of... 
I don't think you can cope. I don't think you, I don't think you can cope. But you can come to the Pleasance at 4:20 in the afternoon if you are over 12. Okay. Are, are you over 16? You can, no, no, because there are quite strict BBC rules now about who one can be seen with. You know, so you're over 16. That's okay. Good. Right. I do a lot of name dropping in the show. Uh, you know, my time with Justin Bieber, all that's in. When JLS auditioned me for the band, all that's in the show. So, is it when young people, old people? Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, the present Queen's mother, who died a few years ago, uh, was Scottish, so of course she was naturally inclined to be happy. Uh, she lived to 101. She knew the secrets of happiness. She is also the lady, incidentally, the Queen Mother, who said, uh, To be happy? To be happy, all you need in life to be happy is to be content with what you've got. <laughs> Which, if you're the Queen's mother, it's pretty easy to say, I'd have thought. But anyway, she did also live by the seven secrets of happiness. So it's 4.20 in the afternoon, and people can come over 12s, over 12s. I say that because a lot. Of, I, I appear on Just a Minute on Radio 4, and a lot of kids listen to Just a Minute. And so we get, you know, a lot of sort of 14, 15, 16-year-old uh, kids and people in their 20s, 30s, 40s. And we actually have had Nicholas Parsons on his way to the Munga Munga party. He called in at my show. He's 89. I thought he was laughing so much. I thought the poor man's going to have a stroke. Uh, what, what do we think? Of it? And I thought, what a way for him to go. Nicholas Parsons dies laughing at Giles Brandreth's show, but he survived. <laughs> so he's also appearing in the Pleasance Courtyard. What can you do? Can we just leave with, a, with one tantalizing taster of one of your secrets of happiness? Yes, I suppose you can. Which one would I choose for you? Okay, I'll choose... I'll choose be a leaf... No, I won't. I'll choose cultivate a passion. It's important in life to actually have a passion, something you can fall back on uh, when times get hard. What, you, what is your passion? Standing here, talking to you. No, that, that's that's that, not that's, cheesy. That, that's cheesy. And okay. at best, that would be a mini high. I mean, that, that's the equivalent <laughs> of a little quarter of a bit of Kit Kat. Mm. Okay. Well, I like uh, chocolate, actually. I'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> that, is, that is a high. We're talking about something deeper here. Can they not on Waffle TV get some more substantial interviewers? I mean, this is lightweight stuff. Oh, yeah, I like a bit of chocolate. Hey, hey, you know, excuse me. Whoever she is behind there, I think you'll be better at this. Okay, yeah. Next time Great. I'm on, she's going to be the one standing behind the curtain, and this one is going to be doing the interview. But it's been a privilege to be here. Thank you so much. Waffle TV is best. And who are your sponsors? West Beer. West Beer. I don't drink it, but the bottle is very attractive. <laughs> you can see Giles at 4.20 p.m. at Pleasance Courtyard all the way until the 26th, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I'm here for the whole two years. That, that's what it feels like, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, 4.20. Don't you know, last an hour. Excellent value. You know, because as a result of it, you can live between seven and a half and ten years longer. So Invest in this show. The show saves lives. It, sa it extends lives. It it doesn't necessarily save lives. People might die during the performance. I don't guarantee that. But you could live up to 10 years longer. It's worth it. Invest it. It's better. In today's very difficult economic climate, this is a better investment than a pension. Come to Looking for Happiness at uh, Pleasance 1, Pleasance Courtyard, daily at 4.20. Uh, and my groupie uh, may be there. And afterwards, she will escort me among the crowds so you may touch my garb. Okay? <laughs> I better go and have another shot of the injections. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>